what's up it is a friday and we're gonna do a weekly wind up so i have an empty wine glass greg is about to come bring me some wine let's show everybody what wine we're drinking we came on dobby doesn't smell like great but it tastes really good greg put it in the attic so it would get cold today <laughs> and that works all right so we have our wine we have a couple topics, so let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is Celine Dion. So, Celine Dion this week lost her husband and her brother. I, I can't imagine what she's going through. I mean, I'm going to assume she was close to her brother. I lost a lot of family members in one year, but um, I wasn't really close to any of them, so I don't know. I just feel bad for her. I know she's got to be going through like a bunch of stuff. Um, on to the next topic, Jamie Foxx <laughs> and the fact that he saved somebody from a burning car. I gonna say I mean that was like really cool and I I don't know how I feel about the fact that it was publicized because it's something that like any normal person should do but it's really cool that he did that and I don't know if he feels comfortable with all the attention he's getting for that because that's just something that like everybody should do like you see somebody that's struggling and you should help them um, but I do think it's pretty cool that he did that so go Jamie Foxx any of you guys hear about Lenny from Motorhead he actually passed away he had prostate cancer so rest in peace I heard that is a really bad one to go through alright I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time with the whole Oscars debacle we're not gonna get into that because honestly I'm just not going to but I did watch Aunt Viv aka um, <laughs> I don't even know what her real name is but that's okay anyway I watched Aunt Viv from Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air she like went off on Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. I mean, it was like kind of epic. It was, there's some, she wasn't even upset about the Oscars. Like she's bitter about some other stuff that happened and it just kind of all like vomited out. I'm just gonna leave it at Aunt yeah, Viv. Viv has some major problems with Will Smith. We'll just leave it at that. Madonna. <laughs> Oh my god did you guys hear that she was drunk on stage she swears that she wasn't I honestly don't know I didn't see or I wasn't there I don't really know but I will say this Madonna needs to start acting like her age and look coming from somebody who's almost 40 I still feel like I'm in my 20s but Let's be real. You have kids that you are responsible for and you're a public figure and people look up to you and you're still acting like you're 19. I mean, girlfriend, get it together. It's okay to be old. It's okay. You can still do fun stuff. You just kind of need to bring it back a little bit. I'm just saying. All right, so I'm sure you all know Glenn Fry passed away from the Eagles. He was such a talent, an amazing, amazing talent. It is, it is a major loss. All right, let's move on. Impractical Jokers. Did y'all hear about this? Okay, so there's a guy. If you watch, if you watch the Impractical Jokers, it's four guys and they do stupid stuff and. Sometimes I'm kind of like, why do I watch this show? And then other times I will die laughing. And I've heard them sometimes call like Larry. They're like, Larry! You know, and I don't pay no attention to it. 
But apparently there is a Larry, and he, I guess he was supposed to be like the fifth guy, and whatever happened. So now he's mad because he used his name in the show, so he wants half a million dollars for that. If you can get it, go ahead with yourself, bad boy, because that half a million dollars for doing nothing but having your name said on the TV show and nobody even knows who you are, go ahead. I don't know. It just seems crazy to me. So that's kind of like everything that I kind of wanted to talk about this week, which wasn't a lot, but you know, hey, I wasn't even sure I was going to do this video today. So, and I haven't even drank any wine. Let's go. All right. So in my life, just to kind of go over what's been going on with me. This week, well, this weekend, we're supposed to get three foot of snow, two to three foot, but more towards three foot. Yeah, I went to the gym this week with a girlfriend of mine, which she did really good. I was actually really impressed with her. So, Sarah, if you're watching, go ahead with your bad self. Get a girl, get a girl, get a girl. Greg and I found a uh, outdoor mall that has like everything there. They have Torrid, they have Bath and Body Works, Skechers, a Civil War store, um, they have a Quiznos, <laughs> they have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so I'll probably go there and check that out this spring slash summer, so I'm excited about that. That's good. That's towards Gettysburg, which is why they have a Civil War store. Um, so I don't know. We got all that kind of stuff going on too. But I think we're going to end this here. I know I haven't seen you guys in a while. I'm sorry about that, but there are more videos coming. I decided to take January to kind of like reflect and get organized and all that good stuff. So yeah, be looking forward to, I think the next video I'm gonna do is a sub for sub kind of let's make friends video. So y'all can check that out. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it, bye. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and I hope you did, make sure that you comment, subscribe, and uh, give it a thumbs up, huh? please. Make sure that you're following me on all my social channels. I am Dawn Rambles everywhere and I will see you guys next time. Bye.